here again. I'm trying to get my webcam to work, and all I can get is this little tiny uh, thumbnail. Not really sure how to actually find it. But no matter. We'll deal with that later, I guess. Um, anyway, we're back to the Sandbagger series, and I've recovered from my cold. Uh, I guess that was from a while ago now uh, and that I had in the last video. So I guess it's time to play some Go. So, uh, who should we play? Let's start a game. We don't need to Blitz anymore. I just had to play a bunch of Blitz games to get my rating back to about one Don. Uh, let's do like a 30-30, because that's what people are expecting. Let's take a look here. Oh, Gojin. Gojin wants to play at the same time settings. How awesome. We shall see if this is true. And see if I get any other offers. Do 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 do. <clears throat> I guess in the meantime, I'll get comfy. I haven't had breakfast yet. I wonder if that's going to impact my game today. And no one wants to play me. Pro whoops. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, sure. We'll play the tilde person. Even though they have the scarlet letter, the tilde next to their name. And he's going to open 4-4. Four, four. That's fine. We're going to play some 3-4. I've been playing a lot of 3-4 lately, so we'll continue to do so. We'll continue to play 3-4 just because I said so. And he's going to approach directly as if he's making Kobayashi. Except, uh, wrong Kobayashi. Or, yeah, I, I should have a 4-4, I guess, to make the true Kobayashi shape. So, do, 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 do. options. We could just normal, door normal, back off here. We could pincer and fight over this, but since he's low, low. Not only interested in pincering low as well. If I would pincer, it's going to be high. But I don't have any other high stones. Uh, we could tanuki. I kind of like tanukiing actually. Uh, let's go over there. I'm not really that interested in developing the bottom, especially since he already approached me here first. Uh, it looks like the most developable area on the board for either player is up here. So that's why I'm going to go play there. Uh, we'll see where he decides to follow up. Okay, so he does want to develop the left. That is fine with me. Again, I already have a stone here, so I feel like uh, it's more difficult for him to develop this directly. Because if he responds there, I can come back and play a very patient move, something like this. And see what he wants to do. And the problem for him right now is that uh, he has, he's he's basically committed to developing the left right now. Um, he could try to follow up and attack the top here. I did, you know, prematurely leave this, as I should sort of extend here. Oh, nope, he's going to come back and try to defend the left. All right, so some good options. We could take the corner. Uh, we could now pincer him. Uh, we could come back and fix up here. All seem kind of good. I'd really like to defend the corner first. Uh, will he respond? I guess he'll descend. He could play there, which would probably be a okay. I guess he should only play as far as there, huh? Which should be an okay exchange for him. So I'm not in love with that. If he descends, though, I'm pretty happy with that exchange. Uh, he's going to back off. I guess there's still this invasion point, though. I'm going to do it. So we'll just see if I can make his uh, stones look a little over-concentrated first. And if he responds, we'll come back, we'll play the top. And we'll see if he wants to continue developing that left. I think he does. Ooh. All right, I was not expecting that. It looks like he wants to pick a fight right away. Because that's clearly going to get cut. <laughs> There's no connection here. He, he wants to develop this left in a very large scale, I think. Oh, how do I feel about fighting on the fifth line in the first 15 moves of the game? 
Hmm. Okay, well, let's do a little bit of reading this time. <laughs> Instead of just blindly going in. I play there, he's going to play there. I cut, he extends, I extend. He's probably a greedy player. So he's probably going to go out to there. Uh, I'm just going to jump, he can crawl. I can Hane. Let's cut. Uh, he does have this stone here, though, already in place, which actually is going to help him in any sort of fifth line fight. Um, we could just back off. Uh, I don't want to back off, though. I really don't. Because then that would give him the ideal extension here. No, we're just going to fight this directly. All right, he should extend. I have to extend. He should jump to about there, I think. Oh, okay. Not as greedy as I thought. Um, but that's okay for me. Uh, first, we have to... Okay, so we have a major decision here. Let's talk about this one. I have two good follow-up moves to continue pursuing. They're both on... Or we'll say they're both above the fourth line. <laughs> this one is continuing the attack on the sixth line. This is continuing just to press to gain strength to then counterattack somewhere over here. Um... Uh, is he going to push? He can't really push through here. I really want to attack this. I'd also really want to attack this. So which one do I want to attack more? Whichever one I want to attack more, I have to lean on the other one. This one, it looks like I have an immediate stronger attack, but his cuts are a little bit more violent. Okay, and it looks like we're back. I'm not really sure why, but it looks like my little video capture app here uh, stopped recording video after a few minutes, and I'm not really sure why. Something to do with my scratch disk, I guess. Um, but anyway, it looks like it's recording again. So uh, I think you, I, I mean, it kept recording audio, which is kind of weird, um, but it just stopped recording video. Uh, so there's like 40 minutes of footage that I just don't have anymore. So anyway, to make amends for it, uh, this is the end of the game. White wins by somewhere between 35 and 40-ish. Uh, I thought we would just take a minute to just sort of, or more than a minute, I guess, to go through and, you know, review sort of what happened. Uh, so uh, Black opens as if he's going to make Chinese, and I open dual three fours. Um, Black approaches, and uh, I decide that... Nothing's really developable here for either player, or it's harder to develop. Um, I'm, I have no idea if this is correct or not. I'm sure I could have easily played something like this, or more like this. Um, but it feels like black has already reduced this side of the board by approaching over here. So, you know, I'm happy to go reduce black, since black looks like he's more developable. So that was my reasoning there. Um, black plays this. Black mean is saying that he's trying really hard to develop the left-hand side of the board, uh, which is fine with me again. Similarly, how Black has sort of already started reducing my bottom. My stone has already started reducing black side, so no problems there. I'm happy for, for me. And here, I have no idea if I should Tanuki or not. Uh, I don't know. Ask a stronger player. Uh, but I come back down here just to Again, uh, for me, I, I see the board right now as a competition between two um, sides that can be developable. Black is trying to develop the left. I'm trying to develop the bottom. So I want to play right on that line and define where that line is going to be for myself. Uh, Black plays this move, which seems a little weird. Um, you know, I'd probably back off a few more spaces, something over here in this area to develop. Um, that way he's directly using this formation a little bit more. Right now there, there's still a lot of, uh, of room in here for white to try some shenanigans. Uh, so black plays a slow move. I attach here, try to over-concentrate black. And black decides that he's already over-concentrated enough, so he's going to try to expand on a grand level and start either a fight or just get a... Uh, well, remember how this was the expansion of two places, right? Black on the left, white on the bottom. Um, Black wants to regain his pressing advantage and expand his at the reduction of mine. But I say, no, we shall fight. Uh, your he missed his opportunity to do that earlier. So this is sort of standard, you know, cut and extend kind of fighting technique. 
black goes here, which is okay. It's slow and steady. Um, but to me, for black to already have three stones here and still have to play another slow move, I don't know, it just seemed kind of suspect to me at the time. Uh, so I lean this way. Now this is... Uh, you know, normally this should be a good sequence for black because whites can be left with a bunch of cuts and there's more than enough room for black to live uh, down here. So, you know, black should be okay, especially if black can play a sente move or two in the corner. Uh, like this. This is a uh, pretty important shape point for everyone. I still kind of have regrets not being able to get this in, uh, but I can show you the sequence I was scared of in the game. I don't think I have time to do this uh, because of this double Atari here. Uh, there's really, although in retrospect, we just exchange this for that. Eh, but if he doesn't, this is a bad fight for white, I think. So it's still tough. Ladder's good for him. Yeah, I don't really like that for white. Possible, I guess, but. Um, this is a move I really wanted, but there's just no time. Uh, or at least time for me to feel good about it. I suppose it's possible. So anyway, I keep pressure on here, which gives black this move. And we make this exchange. And then I extend down here, which again leaves another cut, but you know puts maximum pressure on black. Uh, still not really sure. You know, personally, if I was teaching a new player. I mean, a new player, just a student, anyone really, I'd probably encourage them to play a move like this because this almost puts the same amount of pressure on with, but leaves so much less in terms of defects. And this is really developable for white right now. Um, the downside, of course, is that black might be able, I guess black can't play there yet, but uh, black gets a few other forcing moves and then something like this to really hurt the corner. I don't know. I don't know. I know I was uh, playing pretty cavalier when I play moves like this and just leave cut, cut, Atari, all sorts of stuff, and still have a weak corner. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably shouldn't. If, if, if I was playing as a really strong player, I probably wouldn't be able to get away with this as easily as I did. Uh, this move is probably premature. I should probably use, spend the time to defend the corner because I think black has a stronger sequence. I think I got away with a little bit of something here because I don't think this is the best move for black per se. Uh, although actually it's really still a really important shape point. Uh, here, what's the better sequence for black? Black can do this at any time. It's really not a great sequence here for black, which I guess is what I read out in the game. Uh, anything better? What about... Yeah, for that move, I think I'm okay. Can you play this directly? If we play here, play here, play here, play here. What happens now? I think we get this. And black... If black just plays this way, I don't think black can waste a tempo over here. Or can he? This is a really important shape, right? Because this basically makes an eye for me. Um, let's try it. Uh, there is no free push because it's Gote. No free Atari because it doesn't do anything. Uh, most interesting moves, maybe here? That looks like it kills stuff, though. Or, or rather, black makes a dead shape. This move's kind of interesting. Black Ataris, I descend, black Ataris, uh, like so. What does black, black Ataris this way? We connect, looks like black has to take. We can throw in. And then there's this thing. And that's sort of the problem. If I want to connect here, it's a co. If 
if I don't want to connect here, he just makes everybody happy in Sente. And I have no attack on anything. Hmm. There might be a better sequence here for white too, but that's kind of looking like it. So if I do this, oops, I missed a move. Dunk, 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 dunk. What? Oh, no, that's not. No, 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 I'm, I'm hallucinating. You guys. Black can't throw in here because that's Atari there. I'm an idiot. Uh, so. Yeah, I can't do that. But black can do this. Which, again, if I don't want to give that up. Yeah, is that how we get to Ko? I believe that is how we get to the Ko. But white takes us Ko first. Black to find a threat. Maybe there, or just there. Black could try stuff over here too. If black just wanted profit right away. Um, but still leave some Aji. I can still attack this and reduce this. Yeah, I think black. I think this is better for black than game though. Because in the game, when black plays here and I get to go here. Uh, I just live. I mean, and black has black comes back in Gote, which means I lived in Sente, and I can continue playing the outside. So in game, this was a uh, this was actually pretty good for me. Uh, I was able to, you know, get, granted black got a few points. I almost got enough points to counteract it, especially when you consider end game reductions here. Um, so I was able to develop this whole area of the outside. And uh, this is very tough for black to attack directly now. Put more pressure on this group. And I still sort of have tempo here. So it feels like, I mean, this is the kind of situation where, um, for me, it sort of feels like the colors are reversed. It feels like white sort of has control of the game right now. Uh, white's pushing black around. So it feels like white is black, in other words. Black, like white still has the first move advantage. Um, and just coming out of this with Sente makes a huge difference. This move was really weird. Uh, I didn't like it for him. Um, once I protect over here, there's this cutting Aji. And uh, there's a lot of space for white to do stuff. So really wasn't a fan of this move for black. I think black should just play over there. And black can play fast now because black played so slow earlier. Uh, tough for white to continue. White just has to go and play somewhere else on the board. So I think black should have done that. I think this was a mistake. Uh, white, I just approached. I didn't know. I mean, this is where you, I just sort of throw my hands up in the air. It feels like uh, this is really good because it develops directly. Uh, it also feels like I need to move over here. Um, just so black can't develop the top and I can. Uh, of course, black probably takes that, I guess. But then we just play something like this, and I don't know, still a game. Though I guess black isn't entirely unhappy because black can, I guess black can't do that right now though. There's no time to take corner points. So black would need to, I don't know, black needs to do something more risky, I think. Black needs to find a way to make these cuts all happen. Um, so that's a different game. So I tried to play the more active move uh, and just expand this potential on a very large area, which black cannot allow. Uh, so we came here. And I kind of wonder if this was, if I'm going to double approach, this is probably the wrong direction. I think this is a mistake for me. And of course, black will go there. And I can just either take the corner or double approach again. And either one is fine. And if black just does this, I think we're fine with this. And uh, I guess black has to go all the way up to there. But then I fix, eh, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's a variation. This is not game, by the way, in case you're not looking over here. I do have Sente, but black has a more development and has... This move does hurt my potential down here. 
But what if we just continue on with something like this? What does the score estimator say? Yeah. It does give up a lot of potential for black. I'm not loving it. But I still think this is wrong. Uh, maybe... Maybe just be content to do this. If black wants to do anything in this corner, I guess he has to do that. Cause he has to. Well, even then, it's this is a tough move for him because I can still fight later on. So I can put pressure on first, and if he doesn't take this, uh, if he tries to take the corner, I can still actually fight here just fine. So I guess that's probably better thing to do rather than just try to eat the corner. The outside's probably better in this case. Either way, this is probably wrong. My thinking is I want to push black towards thickness. Um, that reasoning is usually sound. It's just that the spacing is kind of weird and I still really need to move at the top. And if I do it this way, I'm a little, I'm, this feels like I'm trying to build, I'm trying to reduce black over here and develop down here, which aren't the most profitable things for me. Uh, yeah, black played this. I, uh, this black got a good result here. I feel like black did better than he should have. I think I need to Hane and just come down like this. And if black wants to crawl, that's fine because now this is basically just raw points. And black isn't completely safe yet either. Yeah, I was I was too passive. Too passive. Uh Flex stronger here, and there's still a lot of a more a lot more Aji in this variation, I think, because um, he has this corner reduction uh, that can be tough. It can be tough. Yeah, because he just cuts here, right, and this just works. I can't do that again. So I could go this way, but that just works again. So I can't play strongly here. I have to play here or here. So it's just a sensei corner reduction that I wouldn't have, that he wouldn't have gotten in the other variation that I just sort of showed. But alternatively, if he does do this, I suppose I could come back and follow up right here, right now. And I guess I'm okay with this. Because this, this is really, really going to train wreck itself to try to live. If he wants the stone alive, it's going to get complete solid thickness out here and push up here and make a million points at the top. Mm. Yep, so over here, he leans over here, and this is the correct direction. Uh, try to over-concentrate white. Force white to live really small with way too many stones. Um, but in this case, he doesn't play this. Like, he probably should do this, right? Uh, oh, no, no, no. He comes here. Yeah, yeah. That's the other variation. This is the variation he should play. Um, and it looks like white can push... Um, but for those of you who don't know this variation, black doesn't try to link up these stones. Black just gives them up and instead takes a big corner. And this thickness is already kind of reduced by this group, although I guess it's still kind of useful. Um, but I still need to play move over here now, which gives time for black. So I think black is pretty happy in that variation. I think black should have done that. I think when black does this in the game... You know, I don't really want to make a group here. Like, I really didn't ever want to do that, remember, from my previous explanation. Um, that wasn't an interesting area to develop. So when I get this, I've got my, you know, I've basically reduced Black's potential here. There's still a lot of pressure on the corner, and, I, and I'm building the outside. Um, so I'm pretty happy. All right, and here, uh, man, in the game, I thought a lot about this. I know it's not going to appear in the video. I'm pretty sure uh, that it didn't record that far. But here, man, I'm I'm 
kind of frightened. It feels like Black needs another move in the corner, right? Um, but there is this cut here. How much should I be scared here? If I just... All right, if I don't connect, let's say I try to take this corner. Right now, how scared am I? Hmm. If he takes the co, I basically have to connect. Like I have no. Like it's just such a huge co. Uh, so, can I do? Do I have time to do that? And if I connect the co, I'm just dead. So what if I peep? Hmm. Looks like black's fine, actually. Yeah, it's real tough, tough for white to invade at that 3-3 three, three right now. Hmm. All right, if we just connect and black just takes the corner, and I just help defend these stones somewhere. Oh, spacing is kind of weird because now he has an attack on both of these if he invades here. Uh, but at the same time, these two stones are not that useful. So maybe I can play there. No, well, eh, still invasion points. Uh, I gotta figure out a way to fix this while attacking that. And at the same time, be careful too because if he gets another move over here, um, connecting will basically be sente for him. Yeah, I'm going to put this down in the it's playable kind of column. <laughs> Something like this. Does he need to defend? Almost. It looks real suspicious if he tries to find time to do something, right? Uh, this is just a problem for him. Yeah, tough for black. So black, this is probably Sente actually taking this stone, or at least Sente enough. But I shouldn't be worried. Okay, well, I guess the game could have gone that way, but it didn't. I was uh, well, both <laughs> happy when he played there, because it really doesn't get him anything. Is the thing? I mean, what is he? He can't link up this way. And then he plays a bad co threat. So this is this is like two major mistakes for Black right here, uh, where he needs to, uh, you know, well he needs to find a way to live quickly and then start attacking over here. Yeah, this is a bad threat. Um, and granted, it does give him extra threats. Um, it gives me extra threats as well. Uh, so this is just basically a wash. And on top of that, you know, it loses him points. That's free points for White. So you play here, he plays there, I play there, right? So this, this is a nothing threat for him, right? It just gives me this threat here. So this threat did not do anything. And the stone just looks stupid, right? He just threw a stone away for no reason. Uh, yeah, and then he plays this move, which is no good. And he decides to come back and live anyway. And... I decide to take this, and I kind of think in the game I should have had I should have had time for this move. Not that this move does anything by itself, but later on when he captures it, I guess I can save it for a while. Um, it does it just leaves some. It has the potential to leave some co threats, especially when uh, I guess it really doesn't. No, maybe it doesn't do anything. Never mind. Never mind. Don't play that. I just regret when I when he had those two stones. I think there was a tempo where I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that in uh, when he was running out of liberties. Anyway, uh, so I play there. Yeah, White's looking pretty happy here. This is not a lot for Black because it's going to be basically Gote for him to take it, take these 12 points. This is pretty small. I mean, it's not small, small, but it's, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 
5 to 10 points. Uh, this isn't small either, again, 5 to 10 points, but the problem is black's one big area is pretty easily reduced. Oh, that's not game. That's game. Yeah, so, I mean, on the board, it's it's it, to me, it doesn't really feel like I'm ahead in terms of points or anything. Um, and I still have this cutting Aji over here. Um, but at the same time, it just sort of looks like I have a bunch of good endgame here and here, um, and I have more potential for development. And black still has this weird-looking fifth-line stone that means there's trouble here. So, you know, it's it's not that I have I have I'm I'm crushing him in terms of points. It just looks like in terms of potential, you know, black's resources right now. He has a cut, this cut over here, and he has this cut over here. But after that, he doesn't have a whole lot. I guess he can lean on here for an extra, you know, four points. Um, but he doesn't have a lot of more potential than that. So Black kind of goes crazy. He feels like he's behind. And he starts this crazy invasion. He is peeping all over the place. And I'm just staying strong. I'm just I'm just not giving him things to attack. Uh, this Hane, yeah, he's... He's committed to this invasion, like, fully now. And I wonder if I should respond first anyway, because he's going to respond, but... I don't know, this Hane is so big now. All right, this is such a huge amount of points for him. And, yeah, when he backs off... Because, let's say we exchange this, and I take... Uh, what's the best way to do this? Is it take this point or take this point? I guess to take this point is better. Same. Mm, I guess this is better. Yeah, if he defends this, I can actually just keep coming down here, I think. And he has to play... I think he has to play there. I don't quite have time for that. Unless I do this. Hmm. This is a giant capturing race. Cool. Uh, where does he play? He plays over here. Connects. This might just be kind of secky-ish. It's kind of looking that way. Probably need to defend over here, though. I don't know. Mm. Here, well, say if I don't defend this, and I just take all these obvious moves. Yeah, I need to just defend, because this is, this is going to Seki. Okay, so I just make a giant Seki there, <laughs> or something like a Seki, and as long as I can keep this alive, which is hard for him to attack, actually, because again, because there's too much space down here, and I can kind of run out or uh, or attack. Although, if he gets a Seki here, this is probably good for him, because destroying this was totally worth it. Well, maybe not totally worth it, because he still only has these small areas for points. Yeah, completely different game, I guess. Um, so he plays there. I'm pretty happy. I'll take another forcing move, right? If I kill this, this makes my group completely safe. Um, or it also threatens this Hane, which again threatens the attack over here. So he's going to defend, and I'm happy with that. I'm not worried about this cutting point yet, because he does it right now. All this is going to die again. And I can even play like this now. Because I'm not really scared of this cut. Uh, number one, I can take a bunch of free stuff. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I guess there's better. Uh, probably it's better to Atari. I'm not really sure. Maybe I don't have to do either yet. I can. Um, I guess they're the same. Same. Uh, yeah. Probably has to defend there, which means I can push again. 
and if he blocks this is actually kind of tough reading uh i don't know something Uh, do, 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 that makes a co. He probably needs to come out. Yeah, makes co. Make co like this. Is that any better? No, black takes first. Black would take first and the other one too, I guess. Uh, but I have threats. Yeah, some sort of co. I guess I have threats out here too. Uh, if I do that, some sort of co. Anything else I could do? Eh, not really, not really. This makes dead shape. Hmm. What if I keep him on the inside? How many eyes does he get? Oh, yep, can't play that. Have to play there, which means he can push again. He can play there. And then, I think we just do this. Hmm. Take the outside. He has to come down. And there it looks like a multi step co. But it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I'm not too worried in that way either. Okay, well, anyway. That was way off tangent because Black never did any of that. Black never tried to start the cut there. He just tried to live immediately. Which I was fine with because once I get these two stones, it's a lot easier for this group to live, I think. Because these two stones have been separated. So as long as he has a weak group, I don't really have to worry about this cut here. Yep, and I was okay to live, him he live here. Again, I have all this outside potential. If I can make myself a little bit stronger. All these points can go away. So I just took all this sente. And now my cut over here that I was also worried about doesn't really exist anymore. Again, just really hard for him to use it. I guess he has this. No, he can't Atari though. Right. Uh, do I get to connect here? Maybe. Eh, dangerous, very dangerous. If I play that way. Of course, I can just play something a little bit different. How's that? That doesn't go anywhere. I just connect here. Just connect here. Yeah, tough for him. Okay, and then the game went like this. So he plays this really submissive move. Again, this is a sadness. If you can get your opponent to play this, you know you're going to have a good game. Just defend. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I think this move's bad because I thought he would play this. And that gives me this sort of a thing. I guess I really don't need to push there, actually. I can just play this. Uh, he's just hemmed in. This cut is almost gone. I'm making lots of points. He only has one way to get in the center. It's from this group that isn't necessarily completely alive either. So he's got to play pretty cautiously and slowly with it. So I can just take my time and build whatever I want. Maybe just build a little bit faster. Uh, lots of things to do over here. 
tough, tough game for him if that goes. But for whatever reason, he can just pull back, and Hemingen isn't quite as good now. Because, again, if you didn't see it before, he can't really easily push here. Well, I guess he can, but... Um, like, I'm fine? No, maybe it's the same. Maybe I should still just play that. I guess this doesn't really change much. I thought this gave him the ability to cut directly, but it really doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Well, I guess I was just uh, caught off guard by the move. Didn't really think about it much after that. When he didn't play the move, I thought it would just be the obvious move. That's on me. That's my mistake. Okay. So, yeah, this move is probably greedy for me. I should still just do this because he has nothing. Uh, but, yeah, this is kind of greedy. I thought I could just seal this in basically in Sente. If he doesn't respond, he wouldn't want that. So, um, I don't know. Well, I guess I need to respond one. I need to, I need to do this. Yeah, this is crazy. And retrospect, I should still probably just uh, Hane here. His, his, I mean, this is probably too greedy. Like, I'm inviting him to run when I play this. I guess I'm inviting him to run here too, but he's so much further away from any place he has to go. Like, he has to find moves like this. And even then, this doesn't go anywhere. I think we can just play this. He has nowhere to go. But that's basically what happened in the game, too. Except he played here. And I let him sort of link up. Yeah. Of course, the nice thing about this is uh, I basically have two eyes on with this group, so I really don't have to worry about it. So we're just going to peep, see if he wants everything, and he does... He still wants everything. He's still running. This was more interesting. Like, he almost had something here, but it doesn't quite work for him. Um, but he did get in when I play like this. I just sort of backed off and captured the stone and gave him nothing here. Uh, and then the rest is endgame. I was a super chicken here. I think this move's wrong. I should just play that. And just let him Atari... I don't really care at this point. He can't really do anything. I need to take this, I think. Yeah, I think I need to take this. And granted, this doesn't work. But, oh man. It, uh... Basically gives me a flawless middle. All right, and he still, I think he still owes me a move down here, right? I don't think he lives anywhere. How many points is that in the middle? Oh, well, that doesn't die. That's wrong. So probably uh, like an 80-point victory. Yeah, I was just way too passive here. I just was like, this game's over. Uh, and again... Yeah, I wonder... Yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, again, I just... Endgame, just didn't want to deal with it. I should probably play over here. Something like this. Or, actually, I should still just take this. Yeah, this is super slack. This is a bad move. Uh, but like I said, I thought he was going to resign. I didn't care. This just doesn't work for him. Uh... I just connected again. I didn't, care, didn't want to think about it. Still winning by a million. Yeah, this is an interesting point. Didn't really want to take the cut. Again, it kind of exposes my weakness, gives him more endgame that way. So in this case, just take the peep, which removes my weakness. And he decides not to connect, which is fine, although... It's really sad. That move should be mine. Like that so should be mine. 
Uh, I just I just wasn't working hard trying to find the right timing for these moves. Yep, just taking rest of endgame. And this... I guess I can afford to respond here once. It's probably better. Yep, just sloppy endgame. Don't learn from this endgame. It is not good. Yeah, I mean, I end up taking third line territory down here. Or this should have been like sixth. I just didn't care. And yeah, just pokey pokes. Nothing interesting left. Yeah, here, just zoom forward to the end. There's your end. And it is a 35 point win. So, all right, terrible end game for me. A couple places in the beginning where I really wasn't sure about. Now I need a stronger player to give me their input. But, uh, you know, I think, yeah, I guess I also made mistakes over here, too, with wrong direction. Um, but at that point, again, I, I sort of controlled the middle of the game, and he had that fifth line move that he had a tough time defending against. So, yeah, an okay game. Lots of mistakes. But, again, I think I've told you guys before that whenever I'm trying to do commentary during the games, and, again, I didn't realize the video had sort of broke while I was doing the commentary. Uh, I play probably like two stones a weaker. So I guess mistakes are expected. Anyway, we'll see you next time.